So hello everyone. Today I will be doing MCQ for the upcoming LD exam and also an SSB exam preparation. So in this type of question, the question paper will consist of many portions like geography in MCQ format, history and uh, current affairs and general science. So I'll be starting this course on this coming exam and the topic which I'm going to explain is general science. So we'll be doing a couple of questions and I'll be explaining in English as well as Nagamis. So let's get the video started. So first question is which of these waves has the smallest wavelength? So X-rays, radio waves, visible light, infrared rays. So the answer is X-rays. Or uh, X-rays, not X-rays. So X-rays has the shortest wavelength. What is wavelength? So wavelength to kia zukulito. Suppose it is sound zukulito. Sound to inka travel gre. So the wavelength to ekta point ba ekta point idu. So idu distance kiki ko idu ke wavelength gre. So the shortest is X-rays. So wavelength kiman kata wo kiman they they like intensity to higher. So this is used in X-rays. However, the longest wavelength to ke is equal to radio waves. Radio waves is because radio waves to bishi lamba lamba distance karne travel use kore to ne. They like wavelength to lamba theke. But wavelength kata do X-rays is next. What type of waves are light waves? So light wave to kya Light wave to. So the options are transverse wave, longitudinal waves, both A and B, and none of this. So the, so the answer is, the light wave is a transverse wave. There are two types of waves. There is transverse wave and longitudinal waves. So transverse wave to kya zukli to those waves that tra travel perpendicular to the wave and longitudinal is in the same direction as the wave so the answer is transverse wave so light is a transverse wave next the relation between wave velocity frequency and wavelength x is given by so the relation between wave wavelength frequency and uh, wave velocity is given by number one v is equal to f lambda lambda is equal to vf f is equal to v uh, lambda by v and f is equal to lambda v so the correct option is v is equal to f lambda that is velocity is equal to frequency and wavelength so lambda to k is equal to lambda to greek word as a for wavelength Wavelength to as I told you, like the wave, like the travel grows. So wavelength to iman ba, iman distance ke wavelength ke. So this is the wavelength, and the correct formula is v is equal to f lambda. So mathematically, if we derive this, so we know that velocity is equal to distance by time. So distance into one by time gray. So distance to kim distance to lambda wavelength length is up to equal or 1 by t to uh, 1 by t to frequency is that means velocity will be equal to f uh, lambda into f so the answer is this next wavelength having frequency less than 20 turn 20 hertz is also known as so wavelength are uh, those ha those sound waves having wavelength less than 20 hertz is called infrasonic waves that is infra means omt less than 20 hertz aro a mona human hearing do 20 ba 20 hertz parlina 20000 hertz tak mon huni over so mona so visible so uh, audible sound do it is the more than 20000 hertz it do Mala di mala um kanban hone. So it don't get ultrasonic way. Are ultrasonic waves kando 
animals such as bats kane idu honiyo gore do next the webs used in radar system is so radar system de ki chulai so radar ses, uh, system de one radio wave chulai so radar system de ki chulai the radar system is a system which uses uh, the radio waves to uh, signal the uh, target and it is also often used in ships and for military purposes next which of the following waves is also known as the heat energy waves so heat energy waves kange kikwe so infrared waves radio waves ultrasonic waves uh, ultraviolet waves or microwaves so heat energy waves to ke zugleda infrared waves was that means which generates heat next if the frequency of a wave is double then its wavelength will be so if the frequency of a wave is double then its wavelength will be so we already know that from lado ke zugleda v is equal to f lambda so one frequency ke double kodiche that is 2f is equal to the wavelength ke the the wavelength to it do it do get the v by 2f is equal to lambda that means 1 by 2 that means it will be half of the original so this is the answer next in a touch wave particles of the medium vibrate in a direction perpendicular to the wave of the propagation to more connection there are two types of wave transverse and longitudinal so transfer waves are those waves that travel perpendicular to the waves and longitudinal are those that travels along the direction of the wave so it is a case of transverse wave wall that travels perpendicular next which of the following is correct sound waves are so sound waves to case of little sound waves are longitudinal in waves and direction that is they travel along the direction of the wave next touch of a wave is the rate of transfer of energy per unit area perpendicular to the direction of transfer of wave so key as a key rate of transfer of energy the energy per unit area though perpendicular to the direction of the travel of wave to that is indifference rectification intensity or diffraction so the answer is intensity intensity means rate energy like the rate of energy of transfer of energy per unit area okay? intensity way that means kiman energy ekta unit area they tra travel great okay? intensity way so next what is the phenomenon in which two waves superimpose to form a resultant wave so kundu dida wave was a key it do wave dida be rise sound wave dida to it dida join kuna ekta tangor ekta generate kure so it is phenomenon ki koi kule do is it diffraction coherence upping or interference so the answer is interference interference means joining together to form a bigger wave next radio waves have short wavelength high frequency short wavelength and high frequency and long wavelength and low frequency so i'll give you an example of radio wave and uh x-rays so radio waves to key as you pishi lamba waves so that means it do radio waves to one radio chula it do nishna that means ekta radio ekta in nagaland by chula do all india radio daily the key way it do because it is traveling at a long distance so long distance one at the wavelength to lamba the go so tell a wavelength to tell a wavelength to lamba the go but in the same way wavelength lamba hua that that means tell a frequency to come the go so tell a wavelength to there is lambda to la high bishi the glitter tell a frequency to come the go or tell a wavelength to come the dexy little tell a frequency to high the go so the question is asking radio waves to kizu to radio waves to they have long wavelength and 
long wavelength and low frequency in the same way x-rays like as a greater x-rays will have short wavelength and high frequency so you should remember the difference between these two sound waves cannot travel through air eh? to sound sound to kuti travel no kre copper wire placed in wire uh, copper wire placed in air silver slab placed in air glass prism placed in water or wooden hollow pipe placed in vacuum so the answer is wooden hollow pipe placed in vacuum because one thing to remember is that sound waves can do than uh, air like to travel from one medium to another that is why moon the sound ikubina that means the moon the the bhajina daigiliwe kiman hala gurile tila awas no no because there's no air in the moon so it was a vacuum the sound no no next dutch of a wave remains constant so we know the formula that is uh, v is equal to f lambda so which of this among these three which is remains constant is it will always be frequency frequency to it we change no guru because frequency is the fundamental unit next one where the infrared discovered the infrared discovered the kunba kushikli to kita kushikli to 1800 he was discovered by herschel next when were radio waves discovered? Radio waves the kita discovered Kushikluta 1895. They discovered Kushikluta. And who discovered radio waves? It was James Clark Maxwell. So if you are a science student, you will always remember the name Maxwell because he was a very important influence in the electromagnetic uh, discovery of light next which type of sound waves can propagate in solids so solids the sound wave the key propagate key propagate great that means sound do kundu kundu jagade long did no transfers either long did transfers or non mechanical waves so the answer is either long did or transverse waves because sound do any direction they drive so it the saman as you along the direction or perpendicular so this is the answer next the wavelength of a microwave lies between so wavelength of a microwave wavelength to k is equal to already i might explain gushi ki ekta wave as equal to time in the bearers so tell a wavelength to ekta middle of the point back the middle of the point back so it is a wavelength way so it will distance to kiman as it was microwave the. so the answer is 10 raised to minus 3 to 10 raised to minus 2 bc to the wave to so it uh, usually it don't millimeter uh, manometer or pictometer can they measure grid next heat is an example of touch wave so heat to case to heat to it is neither an elect uh, longitudinal or transverse waves, but it is an example of an electromagnetic wave that is both longitudinal and transverse, both direction they bear. That is transverse money perpendicular to the direction of the wave or longitudinal means uh, along the direction of the wave. So it is both heat though. Next, what color has the maximum wavelength? This question has been asked for a number of times and students get confused as to whether it will be violet or red so light quantity they la spectrum as a v i b g y o r it is spectrum as a light la that is violet indigo blue green yellow orange or red so it will order the kili digital the violet violet first the tagado kili the la wavelength to that is tele wavelength lambda to com diaze so as we increase red tak punja dam de tele wavelength to sabse highest is wavelength in the sense like tele udo light la ito direction ito tele distance to kaze so red la red la wavelength to sabse highest is so that is why in railway 
platforms you will always see red color red color signal you will never see blue green or ye yellow signal but always red color because red color to wavelength lamba hogan eh? you can always see from the long distance because it has long wavelength so the answer is red in the same way wavelength bishi hogan eh? Taila frequency do kom that means lowest frequency do red as in the same way the opposite lishu glido lowest wavelength to kyu glido violet hua violet la wavelength do sabse kom di wo but the frequency do sabse highest ho so always remember this point which valley what is the valley of a sound wave called lowest point that is ek the sound wave la property do mo already ko energy ki tela itu or itu 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 tidala distance to kiko itu ki aptitude ko itu distance ke aru itu upper valley ke crest ko ah oi crest ko aru tala niche valley ki kiko draw ko that is c aru t is that is the lowest point to draw for draw next the distance between two crests in a wave so ek the sound wave panajamon aro do the crest that is itu crest or itu crest so itu crest la majode taila length to distance ki ki so already i've told you it is wave length so this is the answer that is the wavelength so with this the mcq on general science has been completed i'll be continuing this lecture on various topics like science and geography and all the important mcq related to this exam so please keep watching and have a great time